with anniversary coming up, it's almost one year since I played on Kai Star Rail. And personally, I think I have a different gameplay experience than most people. That's because I only pulled on two featured banners so far, which is Jing Liu and Wu Hu. You might be thinking, why did I do that and what's the point? Well, here's the story. And a quick note though, I am not a fit to play player. I bought Battle Pass around 3 to 4 times and I am still buying monthly until today. When the game first came out and I know auto feature for endgame exists, my only goal is one thing. I want to auto the endgame content and the easiest way to do this is of course by having a strong character. So I'm already planning to at least pull one character with max A dollar. It's also easier to do while the game just released because the jet's income is still huge from quest and exploration. Until I get to that part though, I need to struggle first. I only pulled the standard banner to get the guaranteed 5 star and I end up getting Clara. Which, in my opinion, quite huge in contributing my journey until I get Jing Liu. She can sweep all simulated universe content by just getting Elysian Blessings. That's why I didn't struggle at all for simulated universe content. And I managed to clear all content easily. Memory of Chaos though is a whole different story because I can clear any stages past stage 5. Since I also don't want to waste my resources on characters I won't use, I didn't bother trying stage 6 to 10. This is also one of the advantage of pulling A6 characters by the way, because you won't waste a lot of resources. Finally, after 1.4 Vasilis, I ended up getting Jing Liu. I didn't pull at all since 1.0 until 1.3 and ended up saving around 500 pulls. Based on my experience on Genshin, this should be more or less enough, if I'm lucky. And there you go, I was lucky and got my E6S1 Jing Liu. After that, I think my team still lacks survivability and I was lucky when pulling Huo Huo, which came in only 20 pulls along with Bailu with her light con that only need 80 pulls. She's a really good support for Jing Liu too since she can increase the energy. So finally my Jing Liu team is quite strong. That's my journey for the first year of Star Rail and now with 2.1 coming, I'm planning to pull another E6 which is Acheron? Acheron? Uh, whatever, Yomi is easier. <laughs> I'll try to pull her with another 500 pulls and if I'm lucky I think I only need to get another good featured character to support a Yomi, and I'll be able to reach my goal which is playing all hard content in auto. Sadly though, I still struggle in pure fiction since I don't have a good area unit other than Hertha. Well anyway, that's one my one year journey in Star Rail so far. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in watching more content from me, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.